Hey guys, Cody here. Um, just shooting a, a two day video actually. I'm about to leave my house right now um, for a two day thrifting adventure. I've um, got the car set up, a few bags, clothes, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just about to head off right now and hit up my first op shop. Yeah, guys, so um, I actually have a running race um, tomorrow. Um, which is kind of in the city, which is in Melbourne a bit um, And I live in a rural area um, Further out from Melbourne like an hour's drive. So I thought why not make this good opportunity to um, hit up some op shops while while I'm out down that way and um, Considering today's Friday right now um, I'm gonna hit up a couple of savers and um, some other op shops and I've got to have an appointment, but um, I was at the end of today, I'm probably going to stay at a hotel room um, in the city. And then I'm going to get up really early before the race. The race is like 9 o'clock and I'm going to get up early, hit up some garage sales. It's going to be my first ever garage sale um, ride-along video, so that'll be pretty cool. I've never done a garage sale um, video or I haven't really gone into the city for garage sailing because around in my area, I've been to a few garage sales and you know they're, they're pretty crappy. But um, hopefully we'll have some good luck. I mean, most of the garage sale listings say they have Legos, they have bikes, they have skateboards, and all these kind of cool stuff, so. Okay guys, so that first savers, I picked up a few things. Um, I got this Nerf gun. It's a barricade one. Um, $4, sells for about 18 bucks. Um, one sold for 30 for free shipping. But I might bundle them up and see how I go. Now I popped on this Burberry's tie, handkerchief, and um, buttons, brand new. Um, I got 10% discount off all this stuff actually, so that would have been a bit cheaper, and this one was like 22. Um, comes with a tie, as you can see that, a few buttons here, and a handkerchief in the back. And one, a little different in pattern, sold for 70 with free shipping, so about 50 bucks profit on that, hopefully. Um, I picked up this Guitar Hero Xbox 360 Black controller. It says five bucks, but I did get it at ten percent off. Um, I think I sold one of these previously for like sixty, but I have to just do a bit of research before listing. But I would imagine around five hundred. Uh, sorry, a hundred dollars for both these guitars together in pure profit. So this was four dollars as well. Um, this is a Wii one, and um, yeah. About to go into a few more op shops and um, we'll see how we go in there. So um, that Savers that I was actually in, it had a, um, a bike in there as well. Um, I ended up passing on it. Uh, it was a Melbourne Star um, woman's bike. Um, it was like a really a vintage type one. And um, I ended up passing on it because um, the back tyre was buckled and um, they wanted $30 for it. So. Uh, I was gonna, it was selling for around 70 bucks if it was in a good condition, but um, unfortunately it wasn't, and I didn't really want to waste my time on it, or money, um, just to get like a $20 return, so. I'm back, um, underground parking, and I've uh, got to go to Australia Post, the post office, got to post off a few things, and then, um, I don't even know what hotel room I'm going to tonight, so um, it's just trial and error, I'm just going to do a quick Google search, see what's the cheapest, and um, we'll stay there tonight. And uh, once we get there, I'll show you um, the rest of the stuff that i got for today. So it's actually getting pretty dark right now. Um, it's around 6 o'clock, but I just wanted to show you guys just quickly um, the stuff that I found at one-op shop and also another savers that I hit up around this way. So um, one of the first items I hit up on one of these op shops was a tripod. As you can see, this one here. Um, it's an Op Optex. 2565 one. Um, this one I paid $15 for, and one exactly the same sold on eBay um, for 30 but I might put it up on locally sale for about 40 and see how I go. And the rest of the stuff I got today was just um, clothing items. So I got a really nice Fred Perry, awesome brand to um, thrift for. Um, just look for that emblem there. This was a, a long sleeve sweater. Um, I paid $6 for this one, and I'll probably get like 45 or something like that for it. 
another Fred Perry. Got this from a Savers, $7.99, um, 15% off for that one. Um, about 25 bucks or something like that. Now I've got this pretty cool, unique um, Ralph Lauren polo shirt, but it has like a seahorse on there. So I thought that was really cool. And it's a custom fit as well, so it's um, it, it's worth about 35 bucks to, when I did research. And um, I paid um, 10 bucks, but I had the 15% off for that one. Another Ralph Lauren. This is a sweater jumper thing. 100% um, Pima cotton. $13, extra, extra large. Um, and uh, that was 15% off too. Probably sell that. Um, I'm going to put up for $50 and with the best offer. And the rest of the stuff is just your generic polo shirts. But I just make sure when I go shopping for polo shirts that there's um, multiple amounts of the same size so I can just bundle them together. So we've got two large, uh, th actually three extra large ones. This is this yellow, um, $8 for that, $7 for this one, and um, $7 for this one, all extra large, three extra large ones. I'll put them up for, I've done this successfully in the past, just chuck them up for $55.95 and you get them out the door so quickly. It works out to be like $18 for all three polo shirts. So it's like a 30 plus dollar profit. And then um, I've just got two large ones here, um, eight and eight, with the fifteen percent off, and um, I'll probably sell them for thirty-five dollars as a lot. Um, so that's about it for today's haul. It's actually a pretty good day. Um, let's head up into the hotel. Check this out. So here's the room, guys. Hello. Um, got my bag. Pretty big bed, actually. It's a nice bed. Um, I've just been crunching my numbers for today's profits. Um, and I spent $113 and I'll turn it into $430. getting dark but there's my view all right so this is a huge shout out to Steve Rakin he's inspired me to go thrifting and um, sleep in hotels and uh, he learned one thing and it's very important and it is to check the toilet yeah not bad not bad looks all right looks all right Shower, shower. Alright, drum roll. Oh, clean! So I am going to go and have dinner soon. Um, just going to hit up a restaurant just down, down the road here, get some tucker in, because I've got a running race tomorrow, and i um, got to get a bit of food in. Um, but then I think probably, I don't know, maybe um, before the race, race starts at 9, might hit up a few garage sales, do the race, and then spend the rest of the day garage sailing. Be my first real garage sale day. I um, haven't done a, a big um, ride along garage sale, so it'll be pretty fun actually, I think. Um, I'll try and record the whole thing. This is basically part one, and. Um, Part two will be my next video I upload tomorrow, um, and most of it will be garage sailing. So hopefully that'll be pretty cool. Um, it'll be definitely different for me, um, but yeah, we'll see how we go.